I'm your host, Melena Scantlin, and I've tracked down the experts to get your fitness questions answered, take control of your life, and get the body you've always wanted. Coming up, helpful info you don't want to miss from You Asked For It. So Tasha wants Trust to me. know that she's <laughs> noticed her muscle soreness after her workouts are lasting longer as she's getting older. Yes, We're course. talking about be fit at any age, right? Mm -hmm. She wants to know if the panel has any preventative tips. Cassie, is there anything Tasha could be doing before a workout? Well, you should definitely be doing dynamic stretches before working out. So things that'll like raise your heart rate a little bit. So like if you are going for a run, maybe you should do some of these or something just to really warm up the muscles and of course roll out or stretch afterwards. It's mm, so important yeah, because it really optimizes your workout for the next time mm -hmm. and so you're not so sore and right. not able to do anything. And you know what I, I always suggest is a lot of people are very, they, they don't take in any EFAs, any right. essential fatty acids and when you take in you know, any type of, I mean, I personally don't do fish oil. I do a, a it's called Udo's oil and it's a three, six, nine vegetarian blend of essential fatty acids. But that is a natural inflammation, uh, helps to get rid of inflammation. So people who are very sore or they get joint inflammation mm -hmm. or that their recovery is taking a lot longer, mm -hmm. um, making sure that you take an oil daily, mm -hmm. that will also give you lean muscle mass. It will help with your inflammation. It will help with your recovery. And it actually helps with the sun not burning your skin as much, Ooh. having good oil. So, good if you're, one, yeah. right? so if you're outside, a lot mm -hmm. helps. Mari, what can people eat? <laughs> To, to, for muscle soreness, I'm sure you have. Oh, some a nice martini is always good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is really good. I would say, but actually, in uh, in all honesty, if you have a lot of muscle soreness, even if you're if you're working at a job and and you feel tense and sore, sometimes like a little glass of wine when you get home and a hot bath does wonders. I'm not mad at that. But I would I would say uh, you know to stay away from a lot of sugar. Okay. I would say to to eat try to eat mostly protein and vegetables in that kind of case. And there's probably other special things that you can do, but I'm, she might know. But I'm not I'm not a dietitian, so I can't really say. But you know, the glass of wine works every time. I like this. <laughs> this is from Mari Windsor. Can I I interject, yeah, please? absolutely. So there's nothing, and I've been experiencing that as I've gotten older with the acid versus alkaline. Mm. So acid is caused by things that are coffee sugar, like you said, refined foods, wheat, I know, All heavy the dense I really meats, love. for sure fried <laughs> oil. So no matter how often you're like doing pra your practice, I don't know why I can't talk, I'm nervous with you, Mari, I'm like gut. Okay, so anyway, um, you have to move in towards an alkaline diet. I love cucumber, celery, tomato, and lemon. Cucumber, so, celery, tomato, and lemon. Yeah, the lemon and the okay. tomato make it a little sweet. And, you, and if you can eat a salad a day, eating greens are as important as brushing your teeth. And if you can just bring some alkalinity into your body, you will recover quicker and feel less sore. So it's really That's important. Really she good advice. She, she yeah, does. So, I mean, I'm just like, you know. And a glass of wine. And a glass of wine. You're just recommending we just drink alcohol and get wasted. This is a lot. I know. Like we could be here all day. I said, I said one glass of you're wine. Right, you're right. You're I right, said right. one. That would make me wasted. Yeah. No. I'm a lightweight. All right. So Ashley stretching yes. plays a big part in recovery and just you know, feeling relief after a workout. Can you take me to the demo yes, mat? Actually, I don't what, know if I'm what, nervous about what, this. What we're, <laughs> doing, what we're doing is actually called myofascial release, which is opening up your muscle belly. So okay. you would do this first and then you would stretch. All right, so people opening say, up my muscle belly. Your muscle belly. I like that. Which this. people say, well, what is that? What is, the, the, the term I use is rolling out, okay. right? So now, like I said, your producer must be mad at you because he brought in the most aggressive Where did I go roller. Wrong in my life? <laughs> This is called a rumble roller. This okay. is very advanced. This okay. is for somebody who's been rolling out for a long time. Okay. Um, you can download my free PDF that has every single body part of how you roll out on my website on ashleyborden.com. It's free and you can have a step-by-step -step guide. Okay. But I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites and why. Okay. So a lot of people sit all day long or they feel like their quads are so tight that their okay. tush turns off, right? So I'm going to have you do this guy. You're going to start middle of the legs and it is, you are going to feel a little discomfort when you first start. Okay, so you're going to roll forward and back from the quads to the knees. This is called rolling out, and we can download yep. this for free off yes, of your website. for free, it. and this it's a like... beautiful PDF that I created for okay. everybody, so they can all roll out. And you would do this before anything, yoga, Pilates, hiking, just living. You are okay. going to feel a little discomfort That's through the okay. quads. Oh, Ashley, I love you. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're going to roll from the top of your uh, top of your quads to the knee. Okay, and, my, and you're going to go forward. Yep, and okay. you're going to stay strong core as you're going forward and back. Exactly. So you would go 10 swipes with your feet straight, 10 swipes with your feet turned out, 10 swipes with your feet turned in. Good. Just angle your feet out. Okay. Help. Yes. So a lot of people also say, women will ask, you know, well, aesthetically, <laughs> what it ha 
Exactly. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Do I need to tighten Thank it, Mari? Thank you. Keep the belly pulled in. Don't, Keep my belly. Don't arch my back. There you go. Thank you. This is why we bring in the experts. Thank you. Because there's people like me, and I know you guys can relate to me because I have no idea what I'm doing. But okay, I'm well rolling that's, out. But that's, yes, you are rolling. And let me show you a couple other ones. So okay. people will say, especially women, aesthetically, what does this do? So something where people say a lot of times, I have saddlebags and I cannot get rid of them. A lot of times saddlebags are caused by very, very flat feet. They're not hereditary? No. They're very oh, flat feet. So when your feet are flat, you internally rotate your knees, which makes your hips come out more, right? Okay. So when you roll out your IT bands, that relieves a lot of the tension through your piriformis up here okay. and into your knee. I'm learning so much. The piriformis. Oh, your piriformis. Now this is going to be brutal and okay. you're going to be mad, but you, this okay. is one of my favorites. So you're going to roll from the top of the knee to the hip, forward and back, okay? And you're going to go about 10 times. And again, you are going to feel a little bit of discomfort when you first start. But it's going to get rid of my saddlebag. Yes, it will. It, it actually helps to diminish your cellulite, your, your saddlebags, and it, it oh. takes, leaves pressure. Oh, double stack. Oh, double stack. You, can do, you can do double stack. But I'm so you're going to fancy bring this right, right here. Oh, Ashley. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Forward and back. Yes, that's pretty good. Rolling out the saddlebags on beef. <laughs> you asked for it, and I did too, and now here we are. Okay. So you can also start with the foam roller. And then the last one you want to do is um, for a lot of a lot of people will say, well, how do I get rid of, what about my bra fat area? Or I oh, feel like, that. I, and especially when you're on a computer all day long, mm -hmm. you get so tight. You're so tight in your pecs, it pulls everything forward and gives you more forward head carriage. Yes. But also aesthetically, this will help to bring your back in more, okay. get rid of that tightness in your neck. So you're going to start, you're going to go right at your mm -hmm. armpit and you're going to cover up your ear. That okay. looks uncomfortable. A little bit, it is. And you're going to go forward and back. It's a little uncomfortable. So guys at home, we can do this on a regular roller without the spikes, yes. right? Yes. Okay. And by the way, you want to do this, is like your, this is like your masseuse at home. Like right. you're living masseuse at home. I mean, who needs a husband or a boyfriend? You don't. You no. just need your roller. You can put yeah, a wig exactly. on it. Okay, let me see. Put a wig on it. <laughs> could dress it up. Oh, so, wait, wait. You, so you're going to come down. Okay. You scoot down a little bit. Okay. There you go. You're going to put your hand on your ear, just like you're just posing. Yep. There you go. Relax everything here. And you're just going to go forward and back. Forward oh, and back. Oh, you're just kind of rolling out the bra y fat. Yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Guys are like, what's bra fat? But yes, yeah, so it's right at your lats, right at your lats. And okay. the other thing about rolling out is that it's unisex. It's not like just for women or for men. So you can use it anytime, anywhere, and it makes you feel a lot more open and uh, mobile.